Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Samantha and I am a homeschooler and um, a mom to three young children, uh, six and under. And um, on my channel I share about the comings and goings of our homeschool as well as what we are enjoying reading and um, various products that I am enjoying. And today I have a um, I guess review or I just want to share this because I think it's a really awesome tool. I was um, listening to the Read Out Loud Revival How to Create Reading Journal podcast I believe and this was something that she mentioned and um, it's something that we purchased, I purchased for ourselves in, at Christmas and um, we have come to really enjoy it. So I wanted to share it with you all as well. This is the Stories Family Share um, Family Book Journal. And what it is, is a reading journal for families to record the books that they're reading together or stories that they're reading together. So, um, how it works, it is by the author is McKelvey Still. And, um, I got this on Amazon. It was when I first looked for it, it was out of stock. Um, but I found it again, it came across it again, and so I picked it up. Oh, it's from the Rabbit Room Press. So if you, if you go to the Rabbit Room, if you look it up on Rabbit Room Press, um, it'll probably come up. Their emblem is this. And um, it was started by a group of people who are kind of created this Rabbit Room, kind of like C.S. Lewis and. Um, some of his cohorts, and so they have created this place where they um, drop all kinds of um, new literature and uh, various things. Their, their website is very interesting, but this is one of the things on their website. And um, how it works is there are journal entry pages. So there's an introduction, which is really inspiring, um, written by uh, Douglas Kane McKelvey. And then there are journal entry pages. And on the journal entry pages, you record what you have read. Let me find a blank one so that you can see it. So you record what you've read. <clears throat> you record the title, the author, the illustrator, date finished, number of pages, even though I don't usually do that part. Um, and then the story was shared by, and then we rate the story. And then down below, I write our favorite parts or our favorite quotes or um, just something that we um, like. So if it's a book that we've read like numerous times that's a family favorite, I just put family favorite. And um, anyways, this has become something really fun for our family. And every time we read a book now, um, the kids all yell out at the end what they um, would rate the book and how they what they think of it and it has been really a great tool for us and I um, I think this will become a treasured source for us as we um, go through our homeschool journey and just our journey as a family to look at stories that we've read and shared together um, and then when we're filled when this one's filled up we'll go to the next one so that's um, a good chunk of the book is these journal entry pages. Then in the back are some reading lists. So if you need some ideas for reading lists um, as a family, then there you have some in the back. And in the back, um, they have, um, well, they have new words that we liked. So as you read, if you um, come across a word that you don't know or that's different, then you record it back here. You write the definition. You write the book that it was discovered in. And... Um, the GEP number, um, which I think is where you would find the book. So that is um, this section. So there's a good amount of pages, probably, I don't know, five or six of those. And then there's a place for favorite quotes that has the quote, book, author, and again, the GEP number. And there are about, I don't know, quite a few of those like eight pages of that then here's a place where you can write your most memorable characters sorry for hitting my computer <laughs> um, so you can write your most memorable characters um, hopefully I'm not 
breaking any copyright laws. Um, anyway, so there are some different things. Let me go back to this page of friend that tells you. So these are the lists of book lists that they have as well. So they're, um, these are things that you enjoyed and where to write your favorite um, parts of books. So um, books that made us laugh, books that made us cry, books that chained us, and our very, very favorite books. And so that's there's a whole section of blank pages, well, not blank, but places where you can write those down. Then in the back, which I think is really cool, are these quests that you can go on as readers. So this is the adventure quests, and these are some different um, adventures that you can go on if you um, are interested in reading about world explorer, time travelers, um, different genres. Um, you can read them all here. But then there's um, all these lists in the back with actual book titles that you might be interested. So like Caldecott's listed by their date and author so that you can go find special Caldecott's and as you read them you can mark them off. Um, a Newberry, same, same thing. Um, and then in the quest section, they have, like, this is myths and legends. Sorry, hopefully my computer will focus. And then it tells you, like, read a Greek myth or legend, then a Roman one, and then a Celtic one, and um, so on. So then you can write these down and record when you did it. And I just think it's really a, a very cool thing to um, keep track of your, your reading and your stories and... Um, encourage you to check out and read some different um, types of books that maybe your family wouldn't necessarily pick. So anyways, I just wanted to share this. I think this is a great resource and I um, think it is an awesome tool and I hope that um, you like this review and that you um, pick one up for yourself because I think it, it would be a very valuable tool and um, we just keep it on our um, in our morning basket and our, on our homeschool desk and um, we record them as we read. So anyways, I hope you have a wonderful day and um, I will be back shortly. Thanks.